uh, not the immediate past council member, uh, but a former council member here uh, in the 30th council district. I was the first council member, as a matter of fact, in this district. Uh, the issues that we're going to be talking about tonight were issues that have been prevalent for some time, and they were before us when we were in the city council. And they come in many levels and very difficult often to deal with. If you want to preserve property, there's a whole separate stage of different agencies and different methodologies that you have to use in order to effectively become a member of your community and preserve the quality of life by preserving the structures that exist within them. You have a Landmarks Preservation Committee, a very difficult committee to work with sometimes because I think sometimes they are often Manhattan-centric and they forget that right out here in Queens and Brooklyn and Staten Island and in the Bronx, there are a lot of wonderful structures that are part of the heritage and quality of life of our community and they have to be preserved. And so it's very important to deal with them. And you can do that because we have oversight over their budget because we can make appointments to that committee so you can work with them. The other one is city planning, very important because they're the ones that do the zoning. They're the ones that can change the zoning laws that can prevent overdevelopment. And that overdevelopment comes in several stages. One, it has to do in our manufacturing zones and what's permitted. They can change the rules regarding as of right, and that's one of the biggest problems we face when builders can come in and do something as of right. That means that there's no review. There's no looking into how it's going to adversely affect the community, the traffic patterns, our environment. So we can use city planning for that purpose. We need city planning to down zone, to look at the zoning process in the community, to look at the contextual zoning, and make sure that there are not areas within the community that are susceptible to overdevelopment. And that means either taking a one family and putting in a three or four family development, or taking a one family and making it a monstrous one family. So we have a lot of ways that we can do this, and hopefully if I'm elected, I'll be able to do that and work with you. Thank you. Thank you.